Welcome to another installment of SeaTac Lighting and Controls, The Lowdown on Lockdown. This one covering the Metalux LHB, VHB, and OHB high bays. Buckle up. Hi again, it's Kaylin from SeaTac Lighting, this time bringing you a slideshow on some of Metalux's most popular high bays, the LHB, the VHB, and the OHB. All right, enough of that. Cut the music, please. First up, we have the LHB. This one's ranging from 12,000 to 36,000 lumens with two different form factors. It's available in 80 CRI at 4,000 Kelvin or 5,000 Kelvin. Comes standard with a diffuse lens as well as V hangers and a chain kit. You've got options for a standard 360 degree motion sensor as well as field or factory installed battery packs with this LHB fixture. This is a really great option if we're going after some low cost competitors on a budget conscious project. Here's some application shots of a manufacturing warehouse as well as a gymnasium so you can see how that LHB performs in a space. Next up we have the VHB which is known as the value high bay however I like to call it the versatile high bay because it does add a lot more options than you saw in the LHB. Uh, ranges from 9,000 to 24,000 lumens, keeping that same form factor throughout. Here we can add the 3,500K color temp as well as 70 or 90 CRI. So along with the other 4 and 5K plus 80 CRI, you have a few more options for color temp and color rendering. Uh, you can get a high impact polycarp lens with this that comes standard. You choose narrow or wide distribution options. One caveat here is if you need emergency, we can only do a remote mounted 20 watt battery pack. Uh, whereas in the LHB, you could do like a factory or field installed integral to the fixture. However, unlike the LHB, we can add a ton more sensor options here. If you're looking at going after those rebates from the utility companies, I can add a wavelength sensor onto the VHB here. I can even do a standalone sensor. I can get this sensor ready. So it's going to give you a lot more options if you are looking at a project where you're trying to save on some energy costs. Here we've got a couple application shots with the VHB fixture, one being a gymnasium, and you can see how evenly illuminated that light is hitting that wooden floor, as well as a little insert of a manufacturing facility with that VHB in it, so you can see how that would look in a warehouse application. Finally, we have the OHB, the darling of the ball. Uh, this one's ranging from 12,000 all the way up to 60,000 lumens. The high efficiency model is getting 210 lumens per watt. Yes, you heard that right, 210 lumens per watt. Uh, talk about some efficiency there. Uh, the standard models are still getting up to 195 or so, so you really have a lot of options if you're looking at that high performance and energy savings with this fixture. We've also added 3000 Kelvin to the repertoire, so now you can do 35, 4, 5, and 3000 K, uh, as well as those 70, 80, or 90 CRI options. Uh, one of the coolest things about the OHB are that the field replaceable lenses are what dictate the distribution. So if you need to make a service call and go out and change something from a, a wide to a narrow distribution, you don't need a new fixture anymore. All you need are the correct lenses. You go and pop them out, swap them in the field, and you're good to go. Uh, this makes it a great tool to have in your vans, on your shelves. You keep the bare bones fixture without lenses and all the different lens options, and you can keep these moving through stock. Um, you also have a bunch of options here for factory or field installed batteries. You can do that remote mounted 20 watt battery. Uh, we can do that wavelength sensor and get, get after those rebates. I can do LumaWatt Pro. I can do some different GTD options as well as driver options. Um, wire guards, plugs, cords, all of that jazz. This fixture is going to cover all the bases for you on your project. Along with a little illustration of the Wavelink sensor mounted onto an OHB fixture, we've got a photo of our warehouse manager, Floyd, literally checking all of the boxes because we used the OHB on this project. Just as a friendly reminder, we did just update our website at ctaclighting.com. One of the coolest tools we added was a little Seattle stock list at the top right of the homepage. If you click that, it'll show you an updated weekly list of what we have in the Sumner warehouse. Uh, just so you know, the LHB fixture is currently stocked in Sumner. As for the OHB and the VHB options, uh, we do have local stock and Metalux's different warehouses also has stock of those. Uh, just contact your local sales rep and we'll let you know where you can find that if you need it quick. Again, this has been another presentation by yours truly. 
I really appreciate you guys sticking in and watching some of these slideshows. I hope it's been valuable for you. If you have any questions or want to take a look at any of the other high bays we have available, give me a call or contact your local salesperson and we'll get you taken care of. Take care.